Hey everyone, my name is Arglin, and welcome to Polybridge 2 again. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different. I'm going to be talking through this a bit more live. My earlier videos had a script to them, but hopefully this one should be just no script. Let's see how it goes. So we're going to be using the new recent feature of Polybridge 2, which is the weekly challenge. And the weekly challenge is a level where people compete every single week. Every single week is a different level for lowest budget. Of course, I'm not very particularly interested in lowest budget, but there is a level in one of the weekly challenges that intrigued me quite a bit. But the thing is, is that that level has already passed. We're currently on week 7, and the level that I need is week 5. But thankfully, with the help of Conquered, we managed to get the level file for week 5. And as you can see, it's the exact same level. Exact same hydraulics, exact same location, exact same distance, exact same everything basically. Now, you'll see that there's a little bit of artifacts here that has to do with mods that I have, but for the most part, we're building this in vanilla. All the physics are going to be exactly the same. The benefit of having this level with me right now is the fact that I can just turn the budget to be unlimited. So, my thought for this when I first saw this level was, this trailer needs to go up and down, and this spiker needs to go up here as well. So my first thought was, what if I just took the whole entire truck and just rotated it 90 degrees so then everything just touches their checkpoints immediately? I haven't tried the idea yet, but let's see how it goes. So we're going to start off with a basic roadway, so that should be normal as always. Next up, we're going to... I would assume that maybe I can have like the middle be like a turnstile, because this is in this exact center of where I need to be. Maybe I can make that the axle or something like that, I don't know. So that means that I'm going to flip these here. So now everything here is supported, but not the center. Um, and you know what, I'm actually going to continue this arch uh, up to here and see where this will take me. Alright, cool. So we now have like some sort of arch thing. So now that we have this bolt arch rail, I was thinking that we can now figure out a way to have this pivot off of this. I have no idea if this archway is going to hold up the weight, but let's find out. Alright, so both sides are now split jointed. This should be one solid piece. Let's see if this works. That worked way better than I expected. <laughs> um, sure, okay, so we got promising stuff, I guess. But then I just realized that how if I turn this along here, then the truck is going to end up in this area, so it's not going to be in the center. Though, I could fix that by doing this, I think. From the bottom to the top of this truck, it is about that much, two and a half meters. Though I have a feeling that's gonna collide with something, so I'm not sure. I'll have to figure out what that will do in the future. Maybe I could have these final four road pieces be kind of like a system which has a sort of, I don't know, roof that comes down and like squishes <laughs> the flatbed down. I think that could work. Alright, so that's what we have. <laughs> it's a very weird shape. Um, but I assure you this will be hopefully a lot safer than my other bridges, but let's find out. So this is what I need here. So it needs to come down basically. Um, I have four hydraulic phases to execute all of this. Leave that there, and then maybe have it go along the center of this. So we are going to get the height of this. So that height we already learned was 2.5 meters. Um, so that means that half of it is 1.25 meters. And that should be... Oh! There! 
Nice. So, that should be the middle. I think. I'm gonna say I think so many times you're not going to enjoy it. So, that should be there. Now, of course, I could do this with one singular hydraulic and like do some crazy shenanigans or something like that, but I don't think this is going to be able to tolerate a massive truck spinning. So like, I, I guess I could move this here and then just position these like this. See how that fares. Not great. I'm currently just trying to see where that is failing though. What's happened here? What's gone wrong here? I see. That's me being dumb. So now I'm going to reinforce the roads like this with steel behind it, as you can see. Let's see what happens if I fix it in place and then it doesn't tilt. Ooh, it does break. Hey! There we go. But I want this to rotate exactly 90 degrees. I know that's absolutely unnecessary, but I really, really want that to rotate 90 degrees. I think that will produce 90 degree movement. Let's see. Yep, there you go, perfect. Fully fixate this into position. So that should be like that. And that should close it in. There you go. I know I said earlier that I didn't really mind having like a million hydraulics, but I might try getting this down to one hydraulic. Yo, there we go. Nice. Alright, so... Wait, hang on. I think I can make this a little bit more pretty. Nice! So there you go. That is... That. Inverted. Okay, so I think I can remove these cables now. <laughs> what I can do is that I can have these be some form of temporary support. So I can have all this set to one, but then these two are set to two. And I can just do that. So let's keep these locked, and then that doesn't really matter, these are already retracted anyway, so... Uh, now what I need to do is make sure those are off, and that should be fine then. So on stage 1, it stays locked in place because of these triangular anchor points. And... hey, there you go, nice. I'm gonna just gonna use this just as a an ability to delay the effect of what we're seeing. And yeah, there you go. Now to figure out how to lower this down on top of it and where it lands exactly. I might have not properly planned this through. Yo, that is sick. Let's do. Let's go, man. Look at that. <laughs> it's just. It fits so snugly. I'm now wondering why that's not moving. Easiest way to test is to see what snaps. I guess I may have found it. Yep, I just have. 
Sick. There we go. I probably don't even need that piece of road. This is now squished against. There you go. Is that really it? That... <laughs> that was a bit faster than I was anticipating to solve this. Um... You know, and what I'm thinking is, instead of doing a 90 forwards and a 90 backwards, what if we do 180 forwards and a 180 forwards again?
So that should just about wrap everything up now. This is the first time that I've ever done an over-engineering video without a script and just did it completely live. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, leave a comment if you think I should actually do more of this type of style. But anyways, that's it from me. I'm Arglin, the local Dirkopoly engineer. Have a wonderful day.